Hi guys, Larissa here with Newton Nooks Designs for the April release. And this is the new stamp set, Love Grows. Such a sweet little Mother's Day stamp set, but this can be used for so many occasions, not just Mother's Day, with these amazing lined images. There are so many techniques and so many different things that you can do with them. So today I wanted to share with you all of the images stamped out and uh, just a couple little techniques that you can do with these images to really make them come to life. So we're going to take each of the images and stamp them out and we're going to start with this beautiful large rose. Such a beautiful image. So many possibilities. You can use it just for a bouquet on its own. You can build upon the bouquet using some masking techniques. You can color it in various, various ways. And then we have the beautiful leaf images that go along with it. And we have the littler leaf. You can use the images singly for backgrounds. You can stamp them out individually and just add them for elements here or there. And we have these sweet little flower images. I just love these little baby flowers. So many things you can do with them. And then the sweet little heart. So many possibilities with that heart. And then probably one of my favorite stamps in this set is this vine image. And really, there are so many things you can do with the image like this. This can be curved. It can be manipulated into different shapes like a curved line, straight line. And I'm going to share with you a card later in another video that I've made for the release showing you just how you can manipulate it and curve it into a shape to create a really beautiful wreath. And I love the text in this Happy Mother's Day. The handwriting is just so elegant along with the little added details. And then the I love you, which you can also do so many things with. So as you can see, all of the little images are just perfect for more than just Mother's Day. So what we're going to start out with is just a really simple technique using the large floral image along with some colored pencils and Gamsol. If you followed along in the crafting world lately, watercolor is huge. And although I like the look of watercolor, I don't always have the time to get all of the supplies out to watercolor. So my fake it technique is using just regular colored pencils and a product called Gamsol. And you use it with a paper pencil and you can find these at any craft store. And then all you're going to do is come in with your colored pencil and follow the outline of your image, concentrating the most color where it would be the darkest at. And you really only need just an outline of color. All we're going to do is color just along the outline here. And then we're going to take our pencil with the Gamsol. And 
and it's going to be so beautiful. And then you just take it and you blend it out so that you don't have any harsh lines. And the shading that you're able to get with this technique looks a lot like watercolor, only you're faking it. And I love that. Sometimes watercolor can be intimidating to people, especially when it comes to blending and getting your colors to dry before you move on to different parts. And so this I found is just a really good alternative to that. You still get a similar look to watercolor, but without all of the extra time and hassle. And you can always go back in and add more shading, but isn't that just beautiful? I love how easy and simple that was and how much dimension you can get just with your colored pencils. So the next technique I want to share with you is using distress inks. And we're actually going to use pick, picked raspberry, festive berries, and seedless preserves. And the new round ink tool from Tim Holtz. And I'm just going to come in here and add some color to my area where I want to stamp. And I'm going to try to blend it out into the other colors for a really neat background. And then we're going to take our floral image and we're going to stamp right over the top of this ink and create a really fun technique with this lined image. Now you can spend a lot of time on these image on these inks blending and doing all sorts of things and I think even if you just get some color down if you're not the best at blending you still are ended up with a really neat background. And just for the reason of the video today, I'm not going to spend a ton of time inking this out. But I think you get the idea. So we're just going to add just a little bit more pink. And then we're going to take our same floral image here and we're going to stamp right on top of that with our black ink. And then we're gonna come back in with some perfect pearls Oops. in the biscotti color. And we're just gonna stamp right over our image a couple times and then we're going to stamp right on top of the image that we stamped. And what this is going to do is give us a really neat outline for shading. And then we're also going to come back in with some water. The cool thing about the Perfect Pearls is that it doesn't wake as much. It the majority of the color stays concentrated right where the line, ink lines are. But then when we come back in and stamp with the water, this ink reacts with water. So you'll see that it'll start to wick away from the edges. And once this dries, it will give a really neat faded out effect all the way around the image of the, hopefully you can see it's starting to change just a little bit. And then we can come back in and add even more water just by adding a little bit of splatters on our fingertips with some water. And that will even make the color pop a little bit more and blend just a little bit more. And the next thing I wanted to share with you guys is embossing. And you can tell these two images have been embossed with gold embossing powder. 
And then when you come back in and color with these, kind of in the same way that we did, you get a really pretty two-toned effect with the embossing powder and then with the coloring right on top of it. And it just really makes these images come to life. Share with you what a couple of these petals look like. I don't want this video to be too long, but I wanted to give you guys enough ideas that you could feel comfortable. And hopefully you can see the way that that's going to look super pretty. And there's our watercolored. Once this dries, it'll be really, 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 really pretty. Let's see if we can speed this up a little bit so you can see the final result. And there you have a really pretty watercolored image. I think just looks so pretty. And you can cut that out and add it to a fun project. So anyway, here is the new April release for Newton Nix Designs. And the stamp set is called Love Grows. So I hope you'll join us over on the Newton Nix Designs blog from today, the 15th through the 18th, when the stamp sets will become available in the store. And then we also have blog hops uh, each of the days for chances to win one of the stamp sets that we're releasing that day. So please come and join us. We'd love to have you, and I hope you'll check us out. Thanks so much for joining me, and have a fabulous, fabulous day.